What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today we got a lot to talk about. Before we get into it, make sure to drop a like because if the video hits 40 likes, we're going to give away 20,000 MT to a random sub, a random commenter. So make sure to drop the sub and all that good stuff. Turn on those noti bells too because we're going to give away 20,000 MT to a random commenter, sub, and we got to hit 40 likes in the video. So make sure to smash that like button. Guys, today, pretty much a random video in 2K. Um, they got to fix a ton of things and they also have released pack odds for once. Um, we finally know what we could pull. They released it, Shake and Bake released it. Um, a ton, I don't know who released it exactly, but Shake and Bake was going over it. On Twitter, I'm gonna go over how, what are the pack odds and how bad they are and all that good stuff. Before we get into it, let's pop this free heat check pack where we're gonna get a 70 overall heat check player. Haven't caught anything out of these. <clears throat> we didn't even get a heat check, but I'll take the silver, better than a bronze for sure. So, all right, let's go over it. So. Let's start this random video off with the gameplay in the game, okay? The gameplay, in my opinion, is so broken, first of all. Um, if you guys don't know, one thing that I like to do in 2K is bait people into stealing a ball, okay? Last year, you could do it perfectly. That Honestly, last year's gameplay was very well put together. This year, now, I like baiting kids um, to where, let's say there's a guy at the top of the key. It's like a two-on-one, right? They have two offensive players, and I have one defensive player. So what I like to do, let's say I have a power forward back in Giannis. I like to bait the guy who's about to shoot. And uh, he usually passes down low. So now, usually you steal a ball. You know what I'm saying? So you're on the guy, the point guard. They're about to pass down low. You switch down low. You drop back. You try to steal it. You press X. You know it's money. You know it's a steal. It goes through the hands and they score. So now, one thing I cannot stand about this game is that the stealing is so bad. You can't steal balls. I'm versing like now at this stage. I was 6 and 0 last night. I reset because I versed a kid with all pink diamonds. He had pink I have an all diamond team. This is my team. Okay, yeah. It's good. It's good, but honestly, this is my team. I'm not even going to lie. I think it's a really good team. It's pink diamonds, some amethyst and diamonds, okay? This team is very well put together. But now, when I verse all pink diamonds like Baron Davis, Wilt, I versed a kid with Baron Davis, so that was an L. I versed Wilt Chamberlain. I versed Galaxy Opal, uh Wilkins and I versed uh, Galaxy Opal Surge and I'm I forgot who had a shooting guard but it was a uh, oh it was Diamond Paul George who was pretty much a pink diamond disguise so I versed a team like that right so now all everybody on that team has 90 plus defense so pretty much everything you pass uh, the computer will steal a ball so that got me angry every shot he took was a green release I tried everything I tried everything everything he took was a green release I don't know if Luca's jump shots like broken but. I versed this kid. Every single shot went in. I mean, I don't know what to do. I don't know why I'm matching up with full pink diamonds. Yeah, my team's good, but it's not good enough to verse all pink diamonds. Those pink diamonds and opals are such a difference between diamonds, amethyst, and like two pink diamonds. I'm telling you this right now. Yeah, and the kid was pretty good. I'm not going to lie, but like I'm very good at this game and me passing the ball to an automatic steal and then a fast break because he has diamond Giannis off the bench is not cool. Um... Not only that, um, since he has such a good team, him stealing the ball has no skill. It was literally the computer stealing the ball because everything you would throw is a steal because they have 99 defense, they have ball hawk, they have 99 steal. It's not fair. So not only that, even if I were to go on a run, for some reason, every single one of his cards got green releases. I couldn't control anything. I mean, I lost the game. Yeah, his team stack. But, like, the kid got green releases. I've never seen more green releases in 2K in my life. Yeah, he's a pink diamond. But, I mean, it's not realistic if you're going to go 10 for 10 from 3 and get 9 out of 10 green releases. I versed Baron Davis. He would cross me up, fade out of bounds, in my face, blocked everything, green release. Like, I, I know he has the badges, but how is that fair? How am I going to stop this kid if every shot is a green release? And not only that... Oh, well, the problem is, if you don't have a, like, a defensive point guard, they could literally run right around you. He has Surge at center. Run right around you. I got a slide. Who's open on the three every time? Surge. What does he do? A green release. So, 
That was my issue with the gameplay over the last month. Everything is agreement least if you have a pink diamond or opal wide open. You're not missing. So, also, the defense is terrible. If you run back and forth, I mean, if you literally just run straight to the right, you're scoring or you're someone's going to slide and someone else is going to be open. I mean, you, there's no skills in the game. If you set a pick, your center botches. You can't cover two players at once. So, everything is just awful in gameplay. You can't steal the ball unless you have a pink diamond computer defense. So literally the user defense is completely taken out of taken out. So with that, like I don't know how I'm gonna beat pink diamond teams. I might have to just make my team all bronze and hope to verse all bronze teams. And I'm better at the game than most players. So if I do a whole bronze team, I'm gonna try doing that 12-0. Because I can't win with this team. I verse great teams, pink diamond teams. They're not comparable to my team. So that's what I'm gonna say. Next up, we got pack odds. Now, <clears throat> these pack odds are very vague. They release them. They are trash. They're, first of all, the pack odds are terrible. Not only are they terrible, um, these odds are very vague. So let's go over them. So base league moment heat check spotlight packs. So let's go over that. So the base moment packs. These are the base, I would say. Oh, these base packs. So 68 plus rated player, 100%. So you have a 100% chance of winning bronze. 70 plus, 68% chance. 75 plus, 40%. 80 plus, 18%. That's very vague in my opinion, okay? <clears throat> very, very, very vague. So now let's go into the standard deluxe league moment packs, which are these ones. Um, so it's saying 68 plus 100%, 70 plus 80%, 75 plus 65%, 80 plus 43, 84 plus rated 23, 87 plus 5%. Now that is very vague. So now if 87 plus is 5%, then really what are the chances of diamonds? It doesn't really go over that. I don't know. And then it goes all other packs with a chance of a 93% rated card or higher. 68% 100. 70 plus 80%. 75 plus player. 65%. 80, 80 plus player. 43%. 84 plus player. 23%. 87 plus rated player. 5%. 93 plus <coughs> player. Guess what the percent is? Under 2%. Okay. So now, <coughs> if you think you're going to pull <coughs> a pink diamond... Or Galaxy Opal and Packs, you're not. You're not. You're not getting them. Um, I've spent... I, I've done $100 pack openings on my channel. I've gotten nothing. I've probably gotten <clears throat> 50k from it. $100 for 50k. I'd rather go on an MT website and buy a <clears throat> mill for like 130 I mean, it's just me, I guess. But like, you guys see how bad the pack look is. It's terrible. I'm low on MT. I bought a lot of cards waiting for them to go up. But, um, yeah, you've seen me pop a millions of packs in the videos. I've literally gotten nothing. I've gotten one diamond pull. It was Anthony Davis. I've gotten a Steve Smith pull. That's like 40K. So, you guys know how it goes. So, what 2K needs to fix right now is pretty much they need... The gameplay needs to be fixed. The matchmaking is broken. The stealing's broken. The the like I'm a skilled player in 2K. I will steal the ball from you because I'm good at baiting. I like playing... Like, loser defense where I sag off and try to steal because I'm just good at that. I like usering my Giannis. I like trying to steal the ball. If I can't steal the ball and I'm playing Clams D, if you remember all the 2Ks, you would steal, You could steal the ball sagging off. You could, you, you could play with the kid's head. There will be possessions where you could literally get five steals in a row because you're literally insane at the game. But, like, in this game, it kind of limits that. And it really, honestly, isn't logical. I mean, in the NBA, if someone's sagging off and someone is going to try to intercept your pass, it's going to happen most of the time. So defense has to be fixed. Offense needs to be fixed, too. Um, if you haven't realized, it's just the offense is so inconsistent. Like, there'll be, a, let's say, Luka Doncic. I have a diamond Luka Doncic. <clears throat> His stats are amazing. He misses a ton of wide-open threes. <clears throat> Meanwhile... Ruby's like, let's say the new Devontae Graham, he's going to be making all those threes. It makes no sense. I have a Diamond Luka, and he's not making his shots. That's number one. <clears throat> Offense, defense, gameplay, matchmaking, everything to do with the online game. All not triple, the, my team unlimited needs to be fixed. Everything. The rewards stink, in my opinion. If you go 12-0, and 0, you get, like, I don't know. It, it's terrible. You get a chance at Pink Diamond Amari, too? Like, what? All right, that's cool. Still, I think it's terrible. I'm going to try bronze method today. Got to fix the gameplay. Also, <clears throat> I mean, one thing they have to fix it also is the packs. Um, 
these rubies, sapphires, they have no value. So you're going to pull them almost every time. They have no value. They go for 1,000 coins. In Madden, um, they have like 85 players that actually have value. These cards have no value because they're so easy to pull. So that's what I'm thinking. They got to fix packs. They got to fix unlimited. If you guys need, if you guys think anything else should be fixed, let me know. Honestly, all, triple threat online rewards need to be fixed. Pretty much the whole game. Single player triple threat. Boards need to change. The vault needs to open more. The vault sucks. I got one token. Literally, I've been playing. I played. I, I got 20 wins yesterday. All I got was one token. And I also got 1,000 MT. That's, that's not helpful. I didn't get the 25 tokens, any of the packs. But I don't know, guys. It's up to you. Let me know what you think, honestly. I would like to know. I think that this game needs to be fixed. It really does. Everything needs to be fixed. If we could maybe like sign a petition and send it to 2K, they won't care. But community help. Please help the community. That's all I really got for you guys today. Make sure to drop the like for the giveaway. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.